Well, 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 well. <laughs> Brother Brian, back at you already once again. And uh, just going to kind of ramble on. This isn't a, I'm not complaining by any means, you know. I hate that I have to always reaffirm that I'm not complaining, but that's the fucking world we live in. Everybody needs reaffirming because they're so sensitive. Anyway, I have had, I've, all, I've had enough of the record prices, man. The record prices are through the roof, and I've done something about it. Okay, that's what I want to kind of talk to you about. You know, I've wanted to go to even concerts this year. I wanted to go see the Dead and Company. They played right down here in Cincinnati. And the the, the prices, they were just, you know, to me, and I'm, I'm, I'm not, I can afford to go. Okay, I work. I work, I work and work and work. I'm a fucking worker. You know, I got money, but it's like, when it starts getting over $100 for one ticket, and that doesn't include parking, I'm just like, you know what, fuck it, I'm not going. You know? But yeah, I wanted to go, then I wanted to see the Grateful Dead down in Cincinnati. They're not the, really the Grateful Dead. It's Dead and Company. You know, they got John Mayer, Dave Matthews, um, Bob Weir, you know, it's... It, there's no Jerry Garcia. You know, that's the thing about Jerry, man, is Jerry Garcia, they said he was very generous. And I just wonder, man, it's just, to me, it just contradicts everything that they, they represent. You know, it kind of brings it to a level of hypocrisy. And I might be wrong when I say that, but it's like, you know, I was watching uh, some of the videos from the concerts. They were talking about, like, Shakedown Street. They would set up this Shakedown Street, and then you had to pay for admittance to get into there. Then they had vendors set up with all this stuff, and you weren't allowed to smoke in there. It's like, what in the, what, what? You know, it's just insanity, man. The world that we're living in. It's getting worse. You know, it, I mean, just people are just getting more greedy. When you start seeing the, the, the dead do things like this, man, you know, they I was seeing, Jerry, they said he would split everything equally within all the band members, man. It's like, that was just wonderful. You know, I've just got nothing but respect for, for Jerry, you know, Jerry Garcia. You know, I've made even some comments on the Facebook, uh, Dead and Company, you know, their web, their website on Facebook. And just like, you know, you guys, just, just ticket prices are ridiculous, man. What the hell's going on? And, uh, you know, people are laughing at me. Yeah, we had a good time at the show, man, you cheap bastard. It's like, really? You know, people, they just... They just throw their money away, man. It's like, you know, I, I don't know, man. I'm just not doing it. I was looking at uh, Tools. Tools got an album. Their newest album was released. It's called Fear Knock Level. Okay, I was going to get it. I'm like, man, I want that album. It's like three LPs at an album. It's like 60 bucks. And I was just like, man, I want it. But $60 for a record, for a fucking record. You know, and then if you think about it, man, you can go out, you buy three records, you're at 150 bucks. Okay? So, I was like, you know what, I'm not doing it no more. You know, there's too many albums that I really want to get that I really, it's going to cost, you know, and I'm running out of room in the house anyway. You know, I've got records in every room, the kitchen, the living room, every bedroom. The only room that doesn't have records is the bathroom. So it's like I brought it out of room. So I went and I bought me a streaming device. That's right. I finally broke down and I bought this. Uh, it's called an Aris Blue Me HD. And I've got the silver one. 
But it, this was 140 bucks for this thing. 140 I bought it on Amazon. I'll leave a link below. But what happened was, is I kept seeing this thing pop up on my Facebook. It'd be popping up on my phone. And then finally, I was like, okay, I'm going to go check it out. Because I'm sick of seeing it. So I went over and I pulled it up on Amazon. And there's like 4,000 reviews on this thing. And it's got like a, almost a five-star rating. And I was reading the reviews, and people just, they just love this thing, right? And what it is, it's a Bluetooth streamer. You can plug it right into your stereo. It's got RCAs on it. You can just plug it right into your auxiliary or something or your tape input on your stereo. But it's got a built-in DAC. So it's, it's, it's a DAC and a Bluetooth streamer in one. So I haven't opened it. So I'm going to hook it up tonight, and I might listen to some tool. But this is, I'll kind of give you a little unboxing. I just opened this, I have opened it up. This is what it is inside here. It's it's nothing, really. I mean, there's nothing to it. So that's what the box is. There's some of the, the numbers. Digital to analog technic connectivity. It's 100 feet. You could go up to 100 feet. But what you do is, let me show you something. Now, I'm recording on my phone. But you can use a tablet, too. So I've got a tablet. And I've got a phone. So it works out fine. Bluebe HD. There's some more information. So, let me open it up. I'll kind of show you what it looks like. And it, I'm not keeping it in the garage. It's going in the house. I'll, I'll probably hook it up in the garage tonight. And, uh, I'll hook it up in here tonight and play around with it. But it, it's probably going to go in the house. It comes with this little, this little instruction manual. got HDMI cable comes with RCA cables um, RCA to uh, 3.5 millimeter I think I think that what that is 3.5 millimeter RCA so it comes with all the cables it comes with a little power connector so you can plug it in this is probably your power source with the uh, HDMI so this it probably plugs in like your cell phone a lot of newer, newer devices do I bought the silver one it's got it's got this little stuff here on it so I bought the silver one this is the back of it it's got it it's got an audio digital audio out on it we can plug you can plug this into your uh, your computer Plug it right into your computer, plug it into your stereo and your computer at the same time. And then it's got the uh, HDMI little antenna. I just thought the silver was really cool. I mean, everybody's got the black. I'm like, you know what, I'm getting silver. So I bought the silver. You get silver and black. It's got a white face. So... Anyway, that's it. It's got a, it's a Bluetooth with the DAC plug it into your vintage stereo so let me turn this off and then I'll turn it back on and we'll do a little demo <laughs> real easy just turn it on and uh, all I had to do was ask the device to sync with it there's a little bit of afro cubism but yeah you could go this is on Spotify I listen to a lot of Spotify so what I'll do is I'll just pull up my Spotify 
and then for water it's real easy to hook up I've got it hooked up with the RCA's the HDMI is plugged in right here there's the power you plug it in whatever but let me give you a little demo it's real simple <laughs> Spotify or Apple Music or whatever kind of you know music service you like. I pay for my Spotify. I pay like ten dollars a month. Now, eventually, eventually, what's going to end up happening is in the future is all this stuff is going to get jacked up because of stuff like this, just like the records. I mean, it's a cycle. You know, the record prices will go down. The streaming devices will go up, but right now, these are these are cheap. The system's cheap. You know, $140. You say, well, $140 is not cheap. Well, $140 is about three records and if brand new records. You know, you could buy two Blue Notes and that Tool album, and you're you're at 150 bucks. So, you know, I hated to do it. I'd rather have the records. I've got tons of records, but. It's time to get with the program here with the the streaming device. And see, so you can go here. You can search. You can hit. Uh, go back to home. You can listen to. Choose this album here. You hit that. A little Magic Slim. Boom. That fast. And then you can use this anywhere. Anyway, it's called an RS Blue Me HD. Sounds fantastic. So do your own due diligence. Go to hit the link below. Go to Amazon. Read the numbers. Read the reviews. You know, do your own due diligence. I'm just giving you a little heads up of what's going on in the garage and my world. All right. So y'all be good. I'm out of here. <laughs>